Hello everybody, I'm Jacopo Calevo from the University of Naples, Federico II, and I'm going to talk about the possibility to rethink the ecology of orchimacrosal fungi based on our recent studies. We all know about the importance of mycorrhizal fungi. We know that almost 80-90% of plants show this uh, symbiotic interaction, but this dependency on mycorrhizal fungi is extreme in orchids, because seeds are so small they lack nutrients, so they need to gain nutrients from their microbiomes. Once they germinate, orchids retain this uh, partnership at adulthood, but at different degrees of importance and specialization. The main fungal groups photosynthetic orchids associate with are the ones from the rhizoctonia-like complexes, such as ceratobasidioid, trosnoloid, and serendipitoid fungi. Due to the pivotal role in orchid uh, ecology, many studies address the importance of orchid mycorrhizal fungi in driving orchid establishment and distribution. However, other papers highlighted that often some of these fungi that are found in orchid roots cannot be found in soil, and not even immediately underneath the host plant. So since orchid mycorrhizal fungi are usually considered soil saprotroph, these results opened new questions about the distribution of fungi. Where are they in the environment? Is it possible that they move around through the plant roots? So we address the importance of vegetation and soil as source of orchid mycorrhizal fungi with a manipulation experiment in which we removed plants or plants and soil surrounding the widespread European orchid Spirante spiralis at a time when both old roots and newly emerged and uncolonized roots were present. So by using a metabarcoding approach before and four months after the manipulation, we found out that even if the general fungal community was affected by this manipulation, some orchid mycorrhizal fungi were consistently associated with the host plants, indicated an inner colonization either from old roots or other parts of the plant. This opened new possibility on a vertical distribution of some orchid mycorrhizal fungi that may reach seeds and colonize them before dispersal. Indeed, another recent experiment that we performed in Naples on Anacamptis papilionacea showed that different orchid mycorrhizal fungal taxa play different roles, with some fungi enhancing germination and some other seedling development. So it is possible that those fungi that are strictly linked to the orchid may colonize seeds before dispersal and play a primary role in their germination, while proper soil fungi, such as many uh, ceratobasidium species, may play a subsequent but still major role in seedling development. So, as suggested in a commentary published a couple of years ago, it's time to rethink fungal ecology that is probably more complex than we thought before, and better investigate the role of single taxa to avoid the assumption that orchid mycorrhizal fungi are interchangeable and have the same ecological behavior. So thank you very much for your attention. And if you are interested, please follow my research updates on the major social networks and feel free to contact me for any question. Thank you.